Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name's Missy and today is Christmas Eve Eve, but you'll see this tomorrow on Christmas Eve and I am going to go ahead and put together my Christmas stocking stuff. So I bought this quite a while ago, November, and I wanna put them together because my husband will be home tomorrow and I kind of didn't think about that. So he's gonna be home tomorrow and obviously I don't wanna do this when he's around because I got him some stuff, not a lot of stuff, but I'm gonna put them together, stuff all the stockings, I don't know if I'm going to put them back on the mantle because we have a fireplace and there's some candy in it. I might hang them off the bookshelf. We'll see. But let me lay out everything and show you what I got. Okay, so here's everything for our stockings this year. I didn't, I don't think I went too crazy, but we shall see. This is just for me. Yes, I got myself my own things. I love cookies and cream. I hardly ever get this type of candy bar, but this is for my stocking and I am obsessed with Lindor Trouble, so I got that. That's the only thing for me. And then I got Matt some of these fuzzy slippers, which I think is hilarious that he likes these. I got them from Old Navy kind of as a joke a couple of years ago, and he actually really likes them. These ones in particular are from Target. I got him some Lindor Truffles, so he has ones like mine, so he doesn't eat mine. And then I got him some Reese's holiday lights candy and then i just got him some random stuff this little like was this travel size thing of face wash a thing of chapstick and then some beard oil he was actually just going through his toiletries and said he didn't need anything so <laughs> oops so that's for matt and then for paul i got him these are his favorite candy right now i can't say it because he's in the other room but i got him a candy cane of those I got him a Star Wars, mostly because he likes Baby Yoda and he likes baths. So I got him a bath bomb and I got him these little bathtub crayons that you can write on the bathtubs with. So I thought that was kind of cute, stocky stuff for size. And then I just got him like a little truck and it makes noises and stuff. So that I'm going to shove in his stocking. And then for Mo, I guess I kind of went crazy on him. So I got... No, this really hard plastic gingerbread toy. It's like really hard. Like, do you hear that? Really hard. Then I got through BarkBox had some stuff on sale. This is a candy cane cookie. I guess I have that upside down. A little candy cane cookie for him. I always get this for him every year. They have lumps of coal. So I got him this kind of as a joke. He's been a good boy though. Um, another thing of blue snacks from Target. And then I got him this barks thing that i'm probably just gonna have to take apart and uh shove in there so that's what i got mo so now i'm going to assemble these i've got them hanging right here i don't know if i'm going to hang those back on the fireplace or we're going to hang them somewhere else because i said like i said they have candy i don't want it to melt so we shall see changed my mind. I hung them by the fireplace. I think they should be okay. The ones with candy I kind of like kept far away from the fire. <laughs> so we shall see what happens. So we're gonna have lunch really fast and then I'll be back. Okay so Paul is in his room relaxing. It is now toy time, right Mo? It is toy time. So I was going to walk you through the toys that I have just downstairs is what we're dealing with. I want to declutter this a lot because of Christmas is coming and we need room for presents and this just gives me stress. <laughs> so we have kind of here, I like the car park. He has a bike and a car. He uses both of those. I might pull one of those away. We have the skip hop table, which is one of the chairs built. This is where he eats breakfast and lunch right now while he watches TV or we do crafts and projects on here. So that is staying. Any of the little trucks are staying because he likes them. Over here by the tree, I have the Love Every stroller, which he's actually been using a lot this week. So we'll leave it out. The chair, this is actually from when he was an infant, but he likes to sit on it and watch TV. 
He's used it this week, so I'm going to leave it out. The tunnel, I haven't popped that out in a while. Maybe we'll do that this afternoon, but it fits right there, so I'm not really going to worry about it. We're going to leave it. I did have this hanging here. This is either from, I think, two loveries ago, and it's animals. I have not seen him play with this in a while, so this is going to go in the basement today. And then before we get to his toy toys, we have what I'm calling as three big toys. So we have this one, this one, and this one. And I have seen him play with the wooden toys this week, not these two. So these two are gonna go in the basement and I'm gonna shift these three around for right now. This basket has blocks in it. I also have blocks over here. So one of these is gonna stay with blocks and I'm not gonna have both of them. Okay, so this is my plan to tackle this. I wanna have one type of toy in each bin one big toy over there, I have the block bin right there. And then I usually leave like one puzzle out on the floor. That's my plan. I do have things like this. These are pom poms and these like little wiffle balls. These were like sensory things that I did with Paul and I never put them away. So I am going to separate these, put them in Ziploc bags. They're gonna go in my office in my craft drawers and I will just pull these out and try to remember to put them away as he's done. So I'm gonna pull those out as well. Ugh, and I see one over there. But since it is Christmas, I'm gonna leave this puzzle out, even though he has not been playing with it. So that kind of goes against the rule, but it's Christmas. this is called yesterday it's called toy rotation there's all my empty bins i have this thing at the top right here that's what we use when we travel so i'm keeping that there all of his trucks i'm keeping i'm keeping some of his coloring stuff but i scaled it way back down i kept out his montessori block set because he's been playing with that and the montessori car set because he's been playing with that the sensory trays and baskets i think i'm just going to keep those in my office and then once we do a sensory project i will put it away <laughs> that's what i should be doing in the first place that leaves me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bins of things to grab in the basement. I'm just gonna get some Ziploc bags and Ziploc some things that go together. Like you really can't see it very well, but he has these pieces here and they like, it's the needle and thread concept where it's like a toy and you feed these like blocks with holes in them through them. And I wanna make sure those pieces stay together because I'm just putting these in big tubs in the basement. So I'm gonna grab some Ziploc bags and put that stuff together and then go downstairs in the basement, put those away, grab some more toys, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, that was a lot of work, and I am really tired. I'm also really pregnant, so it's not helping. But anyway, I got this area cleaned up. I went down in the basement, and I took all those toys, fit into one half bin, which is great. And then everything I did before, a massive purge from up here, is in one big bin. So I rummaged through those, and hopefully I remember the number correctly. I got two big items, five little items to put back in here. And I still have a ton of toys upstairs that I kind of circulate upstairs. My goal is once I have baby's room cleaned up, which just still has me and Matt's junk in it, I'm hoping to have the bins upstairs and not in the basement to do a more toy system. And then as this little baby grows out of toys, they are going to be donated and out of the house. I'm not storing toys for my kids' kids. No. <laughs> I just, I don't, I don't like the mental anxiety of holding on to inventory like that. So anyway, there is an end to it, or at least I hope so. So I got, for big toys, he hasn't seen this in a while. This could be even counted as one of my big floor toys, but I was like, whatever, I'll get this one. 
It's just one of those like Fisher Price wacka things. He hasn't seen that in a while, so he probably will like that. And the other big thing I got him was this train set from KiwiCo that actually I think I got him for last Christmas. Actually, you know, that's okay, I'm gonna do it. And then I'll put him up here in this one. I think I am going to, I kept these out when we go for car rides at night, we bring his flashlight, this is Love Every, and then this little cup and pitcher we use for sensory project all the time, so I'm keeping those out, but I am just going to put those higher. And then this one just has miscellaneous weird stuff. Oh, he found this rattle randomly. This should have gone in the basement. I'll, I'll catch it next time. But it's like a honey stick that he likes to play with. His sunglasses, which really should go in the car thing. An old remote that doesn't work. And then an iPod. One of Matt's old iPods. These are just random things I'm gonna put up there. So let's see, the little things I got were these stacking cups. These might actually end up going upstairs in the bathtub because his bathtub toys he's been playing with for a while. He really likes these, so that's one. Um, this was just kind of like a rolly toy from KiwiCo. I don't know if he's too old for this or not. I have to look to see how old this one was, but it's just something little that I grabbed. So put that there. This was around Easter time, I remember this, and it has the carrots on top. It's like a puzzle, I guess. They do, there was different tops, but he seems to really like this carrot one, so I got the carrot one. Whoop. So we'll put that out for him. And I got just this pretty ball. He's into like throwing balls and kicking balls right now. So I got him, this is a love every just ball. That's one bin, that's it. And then the other one was these, I know there's more, there's a couple more balls, but these are just some little balls. So that's another one. So we put them all, I think I was gonna put them all in there. So there's a ball bin. And then this one, he wasn't too interested with this when it first came, I think it's KiwiCo and you open it up and it's like a little scene and there's actually like little wooden pieces in here. I think it was like animals or stuff. He wasn't too interested in that, but I just brought it up again because sometimes they like something one day, not the other. So that's it. Let me get this out of the way. So that is what his simplified bin is now. Now he should be able to take toys out and I tell him to, what do we say? We say, put it back. So he will put it back. And he actually, weirdly enough, likes to stay organized. So when there's less stuff out like this, this is still kind of a lot. There's a lot of trucks going on, I know. When there's less stuff like this, he's more likely to put it back. It also makes me tidying up the living space right now super duper easy. But it's not all him, it's me. Like I said, we do sensory things and I leave them out for weeks on end, so. Ugh. So here is an after view of Paul's play area. There is the puzzle, the two large toys, his bins now are cleaned up. I left that toy out, he just got that from my sister last week, he's still playing with it. We've got his little table. Oh, I did bring one of those down to the basement. So now he just has the car. And then way over there, I didn't touch the Love Every stroller, seat and tunnel. So I do have this and I have to clean up. So these are the storage bags that I was using. I like these jumbo ones for toys and I. I don't throw them away, I reuse them. So I'll bring up a bag of toys and put the old one in and kind of thing. So these are all his coloring books I gotta find a home for. This is a Thanksgiving card that needs to be recycled. These markers I just need to put back in here. And then this is all the craft stuff that I'm gonna keep in my office. We have like the Wonder markers, just the washable Crayola markers, tongue depressors, balls, stones, pom-poms. So I did kind of make a mess and put it somewhere else, but let me get all this cleaned up. <laughs> so the other thing I wanted to share with you is what the presents that we got for grandparents. So this is from Amazon Prints and they do photo albums. I haven't decided if I'm actually gonna wrap it in this box or not, because I tried to find a gift box online and I thought this would be like an easy thing and I could not find one to save my life. So I used to get our photo books. We get one every year. I've done this for about the last decade and um, Amazon used to have a really nice editor that you could edit all these books and it has since gone. You can either get like a high quality one or like a low quality one, which is kind of sad. I used to do, last year I did Snap, oh my God, what is it called? Shutterfly, not Snapchat. I did Shutterfly and the book quality was definitely not as good as Amazon's. Like the binding broke it was broken as soon as I got it. I emailed them their customer service, it's great. But I like the books that Amazon does, but they've gotten rid of like the editor. Like you can't do like cutesy like, 
you know, writings and they used to have like graphics and stuff. You could do different colored pages. It's like all gone. It's like so simplified. I guess nobody was using it maybe. I don't know. So I got each grandparent a picture of just a photo book <laughs> of just Paul throughout the year. It's crazy how much he's grown. It's just nuts. So, so this is our Christmas present. We gave them one last year. I waited to give it to them till like January, February, cause I wanted to include Christmas, but I was like, you know what? That's silly. So I just did it up to Christmas. I'll do one for us as well. And I'll probably include Christmas pictures. So I just wanted to show you how sweet this, <laughs> look at his little face. Oh my God, he's so cute. Anyway, I need to wrap these up and then I told Matt I really need to get a taller tripod. I'm like slouching down a little bit. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, I got the toys done. I got the stockings done. All I need to do is wrap these, but I just wanted to show you while the lighting is really nice in here. And then we got them the handprint gift as well. And that's it. Let's try to keep things, you know, from getting Christmas out of control, which I think a lot of things tend to do a lot of the times. We've tried to scale it back a little bit each year. So that's what we have for grandparents and they're coming down to visit. So they will be here the 26th through, I'm looking at the calendar, the 31st. So lots of visiting time, quality time, as well as presents. We have not a lot going on tonight. We are actually getting barbecue tonight because when we went to the light show on Sunday, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier or not, it was just like a fiasco. The light show was great. Afterwards, there was a food truck barbecue and I've been like drooling over this, being pregnant, and Paul was just not having it and the barbecue wasn't even that good. So there's a place in town that's really good. We're gonna do barbecue tonight. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. I think we're just gonna do a regular pizza and wings. I was asking Matt if he wanted a fancy dinner and he was like, mm, oh, why? So we'll be back Christmas day. I might do Christmas day in two videos. I might vlog just kind of like what we're doing throughout the day, especially what we're eating and how I'm cooking everything. And then actual like presents opening. I think I might just do separate because I like to have those memories. If you're new to my channel, I have a couple of like, I think I did my pregnancy in two minutes where it's just snapshots of my, my pregnancy. And then there was like Paul's first year in two minutes with just snapshots of pictures of him. And I like to look at those and I like to send them to friends and family. So I might just do just like a Christmas present opening video. So there might be two. I don't know if they're coming out on the same day. We shall see. Anyway, let me stop blabbing on and let's get wrapping these presents. <laughs> 